Hamilton ranks among the most successful musicals in Broadway history and introduced us to a galaxy of new stars, among them Anthony Ramos. In our Sunday profile, Kella Fasane finds Ramos hoping his star will also shine in the heights. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. Just six years ago, Anthony Ramos made Broadway history as an original cast member of Lin-Manuel Miranda's runaway hit, Hamilton. When I'm rapping and I'm, I'm doing this verse and I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action is an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow for the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow and I'm not throwing away my shot. I meant every word of that. Rise up when you're living on your knees, you rise up. He was 24 with dual roles. First, abolitionist John Lawrence. It's like he's got that energy. Right. So it was, I had to bring that out every day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then, Alexander Hamilton's son, Philip Hamilton. He's smooth, you know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. He's got a little more swag than, than John, you know? Right. You know, and this kid grew up in, in money, which I didn't relate to personally. I always say, oh, I'm moving here, I'm moving there. I ain't going away, bro. He's a Brooklyn guy. But this summer, in the film In the Heights, he'll be seen singing and dancing in a different New York neighborhood, Washington Heights in Upper Manhattan. There's a breeze off the Hudson, and just when you think you're sick of living here, the memory floods in. It was almost like I was home. And we doing this like mad emotional scene, and uh, this dude goes out his window. It had to be maybe like two, in, two or three in the morning. And we're all raising candles and people crying, and then we they call cut, and one guy goes, This better be the last tape. <laughs> this better be the last tape. It's a film version of Lin Manuel Miranda's first Broadway musical. Ramos plays Usnavi, the local bodega owner. He's the narrator of our story, you know, like like so many bodega owners are, right? They, these guys see everything and they hear everything. And this is a word that if People who aren't from New York don't know it already. They're going to learn it if they watch In the Heights, Bodega. Yeah, Bodega, <laughs> the corner store. And, and this is a character that, you know, you see yeah. something in, right? That I felt like I related to this guy, you know. Growing up, Ramos, whose family is Puerto Rican, says he noticed there weren't many Latino roles on Broadway. I mean, we had half of West Side Story. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? And then you got In the Heights, maybe like Man in La Mancha, maybe, you know, right? Mm -hmm. And that's it. You know, I had teachers telling me, you know, change the way you speak so people don't really know where you're from. And I was believing that. That is what you had to do. Anthony Ramos Martinez, along with his brother and sister, were raised by their mom in public housing in Bushwick, Brooklyn. It was a lot of violence. It was a lot of, you know, it was a lot of drugs. Is, is that how you perceived your neighborhood and your world when you were a kid as being kind of scary? Yeah. Yeah. Kids were getting jumped, stabbed. It was all types of crazy. It was wild. You know, you're just trying to walk home, and you're like, I'm gonna get followed, like. So that was like my motivation too, growing up. I was like, yo, I gotta like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work, I gotta work. He had two obsessions, baseball. You know, what's funny, they used to call me franchise. Franchise. Like, yo, franchise, franchise, <laughs> because my dad played, my brother played, right. my cousin played. And music. Ramos and his cousins recorded their own songs using an old computer. We stay up all night writing these songs and trying to record them. And we had this little mic that extended, I mean, barely extended from the back of the screen. <laughs> and like, you had to like lean over <laughs> to, to, to like get your take in. Right. And then you had to be mad quiet when you pass the mic to the other person. <laughs> and then like, it's one o'clock, my aunt's knocking on the door. We're like, yo, we almost had that take. In high school, he found acting, accidentally. He thought he was auditioning for a talent show, but wound up as the lead in the school musical. I was playing the, the role of Zeus, and I had this like cardboard, like Burger King type crown <laughs> with like a blanket, like for like a royal cloak. It was like almost like a, like a light bulb moment mm. in my life. Like I was on stage and I just, I felt so free. You're like, if I can get a slightly different costume. I might get a slightly different <laughs> costume and a different song, we in the mix. When he attended a two-year conservatory, the costumes did not improve. They're like, okay, you gotta put on these ballet tights and these tap shoes, and I'm like... Record scratch sound. Record scratch, my <laughs> G. I was like, what? 
I was like, I was wearing basketball shorts for the first two semesters. <laughs> After finishing school, he got by with small roles, but he remembers the moment when he got a call from the producers of a new show initially called The Hamilton Mixtape. Anytime you get a 212 number, you're like, oh, hold up, something might be going down over here, hold up. <laughs> that's Manhattan. You know what I mean? That's Manhattan. Like, hey, Anthony, you know, we want you to be a part of Hamilton's mixtape. And, and boom, that was how I got involved with Hamilton. Raise a glass to the four of us. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Hamilton made Ramos a star, but he might never have gotten there if In the Heights hadn't hit Broadway first. You know, In the Heights was like the show that kept me believing, because... I was like, yo, I don't know where I fit in in this musical theater world. Why, because that made you realize that there was a possibility that someone with your life, with your story, could, could find a place? Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting there watching a the show about people singing and dancing and speaking about things that I grew up hmm. knowing, and, and they sound like me. The kid couldn't hack it, she's back. One of the main characters is Nina, who leaves the old neighborhood to find her own path. For Ramos, it's a familiar journey. She's also talking about the pressure that she feels. A thousand percent. Do you feel that pressure? For sure. Because any minute you feel like you lose it. Mm. You know, especially when you grow up feeling like one good thing happens and two bad things happen. You know, it's wild. Sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm the one who made it out. I'm a part of a group of people who can tell the stories. At 29, Anthony Ramos has lots of stories to tell. He's a recording artist, about to release his second album. And he's a busy actor. Well, that broke his heart, mama. If you didn't see him in A Star Is Born, or Godzilla, King of the Monsters. What the hell is someone going to do with a giant worm? Maybe you heard his voice in Trolls World Tour. One more time. But right now, he says it's good to be home. Are you happy to be Usnavi for this summer? Yeah, yeah. This is the dream role, man. This was my dream role. Like, and you might never have to pay for anything at a bodega ever again. You're I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm not, New Yorkers make, they ain't like making their money. They're like, yo, I loved you in that movie, $20. <laughs> like, I don't know about that. But.